it's the 4th of July, and it's time to reflect upon, well, what the 4th of July is all about. It's about our independence. It's about striking a blow for freedom that was heard around the world and continues to be heard. But it will only be heard if we stand up and continue to fight for that freedom. I want to thank all the men and women in uniform and their families for being on the wall, for being the watch to keep us safe and to protect this liberty that we all cherish so dearly. As we all know, the fight for liberty isn't just with men and women in uniform. As we've seen over the past weeks, it's right here in this country. And we will not be successful in being a generation that passes liberty on to the next if we just sit back and let those who think they have a better idea of how to run our lives and run this country do it without a fight. And so I'm encouraging all of you to join Patriot Voices, get involved in political campaigns, get involved in defeating Barack Obama, and making sure that this 4th of July is one that you can look back on and say, you made a resolution to get involved, to make a difference. Read those stories of our founders and what they sacrificed. It's now our watch, it's our turn to step up and defend freedom. So I wish all of you on behalf of Karen and all of the kids, a very, very happy and determined and committed 4th of July. With this 4th of July, not just think about the fireworks that are going to happen tonight. Let's think about some fireworks that are going to happen come November.